Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So as you can understand, and I'm always searching the internet looking for NMN and anti-aging related topics, I came across an NMN supplement review by Biohackers Lab uh, for 2020. And I'm afraid I've got to admit I completely disagreed with their recommendations. So I thought it'd be a good idea if I did a review of what I believe are the best NMN supplements, powder and capsules for 2021. So without further ado, let's jump into the presentation and look at my recommendations for 2021. I'm only going to cover the main three suppliers as I see them, and that's Pro Health Longevity, Do Not Age Org, and Alive by Science, who used to be called Alive by Nature. Uh, so why only these three? Well, as I've said on quite a few of my videos, quite a few times, there are now so many NMN suppliers, and that number is rising literally by the day, it would be impossible to cover all of the other runners, if you like. Um, so I'm just going to focus on those three. Uh, you'll also see when I talk next about the assessment criteria, that the majority of these new smaller companies um, wouldn't meet the cut anyway. Uh, as they say, cream always tends to float to the top. Um, <clears throat> also, on a slightly more selfish note, these are really the only three companies that I would choose if I was going to be buying NMN for personal use. So uh, let's move on to my assessment criteria. So in this review, I will be covering NMN powder and NMN capsules. Uh, and the parameters I'm using for the assessment will be testing for purity. Um, with so many new companies out there uh, and so many fake companies or companies selling low purity NMN and passing off as being high quality NMN. Um, also promising to send you their certificates of analysis after you've purchased it or sending you um, a third party test certificate supplied by the first party. Uh, this testing for purity uh, is a must and it must be top of the list. Uh, the next one will be testing for heavy metals. Um, as above, this is a must. And if you're not sure about what testing for heavy metals actually means, I will, uh, if I remember, I will link my video on heavy metal testing to the end of this video. Testing location and time. Um, where do they send their NMN to get tested and how long does it take to get there? More about the reason for including this a bit later on. Uh, provenance. So where did the NMN come from? This is something we didn't know in the past and it was something that NMN suppliers were very keen on keeping a secret. But thanks to Youth Ever, uh, who's made it their company policy for resellers or distributors of their NMN, to print their logo, you can now tell where the NMN comes from. And I'm a firm supporter of this policy by Youth Ever. Uh, and the last one would be cost, obviously a subject that's close to everybody's heart. So let's get on with the review. And the first company we should look at is Pro Health Longevity. Now, all three companies sell 100 gram bags. So that's a metric I will use for testing. Uh, you can see here on this table that uh, Pro Health do test for purity. Uh, with a third party. They do test for heavy metals. Their location for the testing company they use is the United States. And the provenance or the origin is Youthiva. And you can see that because they're sporting the Youthiva logo in the center of that packet. Uh, price per gram, $2.50. Uh, and I put a small asterisk next to that because uh, Pro Health Longevity do have sales occasionally and they will reduce this price. Um, so you do have to keep popping back and checking if you're going to be making a, a, a sale. Can be slightly frustrating if you've just bought a bag for $250 and two days later they reduce the price to $200. Uh, that can be very frustrating. So you will have to keep um, checking back. Now the price of NMN to customers has gone down significantly. And I remember when Pro Health Longevity were selling this bag for about $350. Interestingly, the price of NMN from suppliers uh, to suppliers has not gone down. So you can imagine the kind of profit Pro Health were making when they were selling this for $350. And they'll still be making a profit when it goes on sale and they're selling it for $200. Uh, so that's it for Pro Health Longevity. Let's move on now and look at donotage.org. So we can see here that Do Not Age do conduct purity testing. They do test for heavy metals. Uh, they send their NMN for testing 
to America. The origin is Uthiva, and you can see that um, the badge on the front of the package in there. Uh, and their cost is $2.25 a gram, so slightly cheaper than Pro Health. You'll notice where um, I've got testing location USA. The, this company send their NMN from the UK to the USA, uh, and this is a deliberate move on their part. They send it in a mail service. It takes between 14 and 16, 14 and 18 days. And they do this so that if you buy NMN from them and you're in America or Australia or Asia or Africa or Europe, as long as it gets to you within the 14 to 16 days it takes to send to America and get tested, you know that the purity level will be the same as the one that they advertise. So um, I think that's a good policy uh, to have. You'll also notice that there's a three asterisks next to $2.25. Uh, for the foreseeable future, do not age are still going to use or allow you to use the My NMN discount code, which gives you 10% off. Uh, so you're then looking at a price at two dollars and two cents a gram, uh, and that's all year round. So that's good. Uh, they also, if you look here, you see subscribe and save over twenty five percent. They've now started also a subscription service. Uh, it's not included in part of this analysis or this review, but I will cover that in a separate video uh, slightly later. So that's it for do not age doll. Let's now take a look at a lie by science, or uh, used to be a lie by nature, formerly a lie by nature, it says that in the header. Um, you can see here that they do test for purity. Uh, unfortunately, they don't test for um, heavy metals. They do their testing in the United States of America, uh, but we're unaware of the origin of the NMN, or they won't allow people to know where they get their NMN from who manufactured it for them, or if indeed they manufactured it themselves. Uh, and you can see there, the price is $2.33 a gram. Uh, so that's it for the review of the powders. Let's now look at the, the final scores. So here are my final scores. You can see that in third place, it's allied by science. Second is pro health longevity, and first is do not age.org. Um, so price is a contributing factor if you use the discount code. Uh, another factor is I like the way the do not age.org send their NMN on a 14 day trip to get tested so as to mimic the delivery time to customers so they receive their product with at least the same purity level, if not greater. Uh, and I think that's the main reason that Pro Health Longevity were pushed into second place. Uh, as for Live by Science, um, price slightly more expensive than um, do not age when you look at the discount code, but also no heavy metal testing. And I think that's what pushed them into uh, third position. So that's it for NMN powder. And the first capsules that we will look at will be uh, Pro Health Longevity. And this is their 250 milligram sustained release capsule. Uh, you can see here that they do send them for testing. Uh, they do send them for heavy metal testing. Uh, the testing location is the USA. And it is also Uthiva, and you can see there they sport the Uthiva logo. Now, these prices are going to be more expensive than the powder because you're not buying in bulk when you buy these capsules or tablets. So you can see there the price is $6.23. Now, you'll notice there's an asterisk next to purity testing, and you can see when you look at their certificate of analysis that it's quite fiddly to get to it. You can see that they did actually send the Pro 250 sustained release tablets for testing. And you can see sample description, um, it does say tablets. So this is what they did send to micro quality labs to get tested. Um, you'll also notice that price per gram, you've got $6.23 and you've got two asterisks there. Uh, and I know these are sustained release capsules. Uh, and there is a nice picture here, which shows um, the difference between immediate release and extended release capsules and it's to do with the the breaking down of the capsule when it really reaches ph in the gut and not in the stomach um, but i haven't seen any scientific studies not in humans and i doubt they could do them in mice where this is a proven fact for nmn um, it may be true for other compounds in the same way as sublingual administration 
is true for other compounds. But as David Sinclair says, when it comes to sublingual NMN, um, we're all still guessing. Nobody really knows. It's probably an educated guess, as is this for extended release formula capsules. Um, but it's a guess all the same. Uh, so that's it for pro health longevity NMN capsules. Moving on, let's take a look at do not age.org's NMN capsules. You can see here that they are tested for purity, they are tested for heavy metals, testing location is the USA, provenance is uh, youth EVA, and the cost per gram is $4.16, uh, which is good. And again, the my NMN code can be applied to that for 10% off. Uh, you'll notice there are three asterisks next to purity, and that's because do not age the org capsules contain no fillers, so only the raw NMN. And again, that will become more apparent uh, later on. Uh, and again, you've got testing in the USA, so we've got the 14 to 16 or 18 days turnaround, uh, which mimics delivery time to customers, which again is, is good. So that's it for do not age the org. Good, so let's move on to Alive by Science, and we've got here 240 milligram sublingual tablets. Uh, you can see here that yes, they do conduct testing for purity. Um, they don't conduct testing for heavy metals, or if they do, they don't post those results. Testing is in the USA. Uh, as we've said before, we don't know the origin of their NMM. Uh, cost per gram, $4.66. Now, if you look at the table, you'll see there that um, on purity, there are a number of asterisks, and it says that the COA on their site states raw. So if I click down to here, you can look at the certificate they got from um, Micro Quality Labs, and you can see it says sample name NMN nicotinamide mononucleotide, sample description raw. Now, if you look at Uthiva's one, you can see there that it's the sustained release capsules, and it says here tablets. So I don't think that this, um, where's it gone? I don't think that this certificate of purity is for these tablets. I think it's for a massive batch of NMN that maybe they turned into the tablets, but we don't know. Um, Micro Quality Labs are a quality organization, and they wouldn't on one certificate of analysis, call a sample name exactly what it is and say tablets. And then on this one, because it's natural citrus burst flavor, uh, I would expect that to be here on the sample name. And it shouldn't say raw, it should say tablets because that is what they were testing. Um, so a question there as to, did they actually send these tablets to micro quality labs or are they using the same uh, certificate of assay that they do for their NMN powder? Um, if Alive by Science are watching this and they'd like to leave a comment below and explain what I believe is a slight anomaly, then that would be most welcome. So that's it for the three different companies. Right, let's now look at the final scores. And you can see here in third place is Alive by Science. Second is Pro Health Longevity, and in first place, do not age.org. Um, I think the cost of the sustained release tablets is what pushed Pro Health into second place. And I think, as far as I by science is concerned, no heavy metal testing results advertised. Uh, and some questions about their certificate of analysis did they actually send these sublingual tablets with citrus burst flavor? to micro quality labs, or are they just using the same COA that they use when they send a batch of NMM powder? Uh, so that's it as far as final positions is concerned for tablets. So something I quickly like to touch on is what I want to call the, the evolving NMN market. Um, unfortunately, I think NMN is starting to go the same way that creatine monohydrate went. Uh, lots of gimmicks came out with creatine monohydrate. There was originally just the one form. Um, there are now six versions of creatine monohydrate. 
I'm now going to talk quickly about some facts to do with creatine and I'd like you to think about when I talk about creatine to see if something familiar is happening with NMN and the NMN market. So creatine, monohydrate, the base form and the cheapest form has got the most scientific studies to prove its effectiveness. While other versions of creatine exist on the market, they have very minimal research, if any at all, that examine their effectiveness. Maybe the same could be said for some of the more exotic NMN and NAD products now hit in the market. Even less research on how effective these products are. Let me know in the comments below if you think what I'm saying is right or wrong. Additionally, the base level of creatine monohydrate is the cheapest. And if you think about NMN, NMN powder, whether it's a bag of powder or powder in capsules, is also the cheapest. It's also the version that was tested in Japan for its safety. It's also the version that David Sinclair used on his mice in the mice studies. It's also the version that David Sinclair is now taking and has taken for, I think, about two to three years. As I've always said, you need to follow the money. Uh, and it seems to be only the NMN companies that are driving this change in the market. Nothing to do with the scientists. Again, if you disagree, if you think my assumptions are wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'd like to know in the comments below if you agree, disagree or strongly disagree with my recommendations for 2021. I'd be more than interested to, uh, to see what you think. Also, make sure you look at the Biohackers Lab 2020 recommendations. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, let me know if you also agree that I think they got it quite wrong when it comes to who they chose and the reasons that they chose the companies that they did. Uh, well, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you soon in the next video. As always, please take care and bye for now.